Hey everyone and welcome, I'm Justisa and once again, I am sick. But this time, this time I know what it is. I got COVID. <laughs> and... Okay, my fever is down now, I don't have a fever, but you guys can hear. My nose is very stuffy and I will cough. I have water and tea. It's my Eeyore. I love Eeyore. Eeyore? Eeyore? Eeyore. I know it's Eeyore po svenska. Wait, what? <laughs> this video is Like, I tried. I think I've been working on my eyebrows for like 15 minutes because I couldn't remember how I used to do it. It's been three days since I did my eyebrows last and I can't for the life of me remember how. So they're they're a bit bushy, a bit bit something today. <laughs> you guys will have to deal with me being a little woo today because yeah. I got like a spurt of energy. It's Sunday, it's at like 2 o'clock right now, and I got a little bit of a spurt of energy and I felt like, you know what, why not just do the video for today while I actually can. We will see for how long I have this energy. <laughs> it might disappear in 5 minutes or in a few hours, we will see. I have, as you guys can see, kind of done my makeup because my friend sent me a TikTok or like it was an Instagram reel. But I saw the TikTok first, and she did this makeup. Uh, hopefully I have found a picture of it. But it's like hearts here and on the inner corners. And I thought it was really, for, really, I thought it was really cute. <laughs> so I thought I was gonna do that and do a little bit of uh, Valentine's Get Ready With Me. But I'm not really going anywhere because I'm in quarantine because I got COVID. So, yeah, I don't know where to start. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with my blush color. Uh, it's really well used, as you guys will be able to see. That's my contour, and that's my blush. I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna use that one, uh, just like a bit of a color on the entire lid, or like mostly around See, mostly around here and here. Let's see if this is actually clean because it looks pretty dark. Or maybe it's just my mind telling me it's dark when it's actually not. Who cares? So yeah, I got... <laughs> I was sick two weeks ago when I did my hair. Uh, I had had... Uh, fever for like three days but now two weeks later I get sick again it started off with me losing my voice I couldn't talk I woke up and I couldn't talk but I was like fine otherwise so I went to work and my boss joked like <laughs> maybe I sneaked up maybe I made you sick because he had had COVID the week before but he was Fine. He had been home this, uh, his entire quarantine and stuff, but he joked about that. And I got came home, and I was so tired, so I went to sleep like immediately. Like I, I was home at like four, around four, no five. I got home around five, and I went to bed and I slept the entire fucking night. And woke up, made some dinner. I was like, you know what? I have this quick test at home. Let's try it. Let's take it, just to be sure. And immediately, <laughs> it turned into positive. So I was like, oh fuck, I'm not allowed to swear. But I'm not, yeah, I, I, I got COVID. And I hate my life. I don't wish this upon anyone. Because I've had a fever constantly. And it started off with me being super cold. Like I had, I had pants on, I had socks on, I had extra socks on, I had these like heating pads on my feet, on my neck, on my hands. I had a jacket on, I had a blanket on, and then another blanket. I had 
I was so cold. And then like an hour later, I was like so hot that so I had to take off everything. It was terrible. So I couldn't sleep properly the first night, the night until yesterday, uh, Friday to Saturday. I didn't sleep like at all um, because of that. And then I was fine on Friday. I, was, I felt okay, but yesterday I was actually thinking that I was gonna film this right now, that I'm filming right now. I'm just gonna lower my camera a bit, I'm sorry. My plan was to film this yesterday, but I was, my fever was so high and I was so tired, so I just, I slept the entire day until Melody Festival, and then I had to like go up and watch that because as a Swede, you can't miss Melody Festivalen. I'm gonna go in with that red right there. It's called Cherryade, like lemonade, Cherryade? I don't know, something like that. Just like that, it's kinda cute, maybe. I gotta say, it's pretty easy doing these with this brush because it's like swipe, swipe. <laughs> easy swipe, swipe, kind of. Can you see that? It looks like tiny hearts. <laughs> no shit, it's supposed to look like turds. I'm sorry. So now I'm thinking about going in with maybe flamingo or dragon fruit let's go with dragon fruit realized this morning that i have no sense of smell that was not nice like one of my favorite things in the morning is coffee and i couldn't smell it that was sad it was a sad sad morning and i couldn't taste it like i could taste it because i know what it tastes like but it tastes more like just bitter. Does that make sense? Sweet things. Like I tried eating chocolate, but it but it only tasted sweet. It didn't taste like chocolate. And I tried it with ice cream. It's same thing. Uh, like sugar, sugar, sweet. So that was yeah. It it doesn't taste like I can taste texture textures as well. Like I can I can feel the textures. I don't know. It was weird. Is that a good color? Yeah. It's not gonna be perfect heart still. I'm gonna overlap some of them. I was so happy the other day because I could taste the food even if I don't have like an appetite like I'm not hungry I don't feel like eating I could still taste things but now I can't and that makes it even more difficult to actually eat something so that's a bit annoying I I love food I think it's uh, I like to like cook food and try new things but now it feels like why should I? Because I can't even taste it. And that's like the best part. Wait. Oops. Have you guys been able to stay healthy and like not get COVID? I, I, I was so happy because I have been, I haven't, been, I haven't gotten it during the entire pandemic and they just lifted all the restrictions in Sweden. The 9th of February, they lifted all of them. And on the, was it like the 10th or maybe it was the 9th, I got COVID and got sick. And I wasn't even out, I was at work. <laughs> I'm not the type of perfect person to like go out and party and stuff. So it was very, yeah, I got out of work probably. 
or maybe like because I, I go by bus I don't have a car or a driver's license so I could have gotten on a bus as well but who knows who knows the reason why I'm not doing anything right here is because I, I want to put a liner on afterwards so yeah but I'm thinking I don't know what I'm thinking to be honest so I'm gonna go in with this white one actually I think since this is a creamier one, I think it will be easier. I don't know. I don't know, actually. Let's try. Okay, let's put one right there. And there. I think this is actually really cute. The white really made it better, I think. I'm going to leave it like that and I'm just quickly going to put on some eyeliner and mascara and I will see you guys in a little bit. So this is the final look. Up close, it doesn't look too good, <laughs> but from far, far away. Bleh. Okay, uh, this is the final look. I like it. I did think that there was something missing, so I did add two little hearts here. I couldn't get those symmetrical, I think I did like three, four times. But my energy is about this now. I can feel just. <laughs> While I was doing the hearts on my eyes, I was starting to rambling around about like the kids playing outside and how how invigorating it felt made me feel happy to hear them laugh and and I was like, what am I even talking about? So I am thinking that my fever might be bit might be back now. I didn't think this would turn out as good as it did. Um, it was really easy, especially if you have like a teeny tiny brush. It was just like, dit, dit, and you're done with the heart. Super easy and really cute. This is not how I will spend my Valentine's, obviously. I will spend it on my couch or in my bed <laughs> with another cup of tea and watching Tokyo Revengers and just being all cozy and alone. <laughs> I might call my mom <laughs> and tell her I love her so but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it happy valentine's it is tomorrow valentine's I think for me at least it is tomorrow uh, I hope you have a great day and an amazing valentine's with lots of love and I hope you guys stay healthy and I wish no one to have COVID. I have a mild version. I am very aware of that. And I, I don't even want anyone to have that because I feel terrible at the times that I feel the worst. The worst. I can't even talk right now. It's so, hard. so yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day, an amazing Valentine. Stay healthy. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.